Stormwater running down driveways, for example, can lead to potholes and damage to the surface, never mind the damage that it does to the gate track. Here we can see that the rainwater has brought all the sediment down, it's built up around the gate track and around the motor. It's not very good for this area. I'm going to fix the problem by installing this easy drain clip together drainage system. Let me show you how. What you'll need is your required lengths of easy drain drainage, two end caps, a male to male converter and some expansion foam, a large angle grinder with a masonry cutting disc, a pick and spade, concrete trowel and float, a chalk line, line level, spirit level and a measuring tape. And you may also need a hacksaw and a stamper. Cement, building sand and a wheelbarrow to mix in. Then to connect the channel to the water runoff piping, you'll need a 110 to 50 millimeter reducer, a selection of flexible joiners, 45s or 90 degrees depending on what you need and some 50 millimeter pipe. And then a jigsaw, a drill with an 8 mm drill bit and some PVC weld. These easy drain channels are one meter long 140 millimeters wide and 140 millimeters deep. Now I want to put a base of 50 millimeters of cement underneath and 50 on either side. So to install this in the driveway, I'm going to have to cut a channel 240 millimeters wide. Using a chalk line and a level, I've worked out where the drain needs to be installed to get a slight fall toward the flower bed. Then mark a second line 240 millimeters parallel to that and snap the chalk line. Remember there are detailed instructions in the packaging. Now you'll notice that our lines aren't quite parallel to the gate, and the reason for that is just the angle of the driveway. By putting at a slight angle, we can use the fall of the driveway to get our runoff. Now I'll use the angle grinder to cut along the chalk lines, then the pick and the spade to open up the trench to a depth of 190 millimeters from the surface. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to ask Kevin to assemble the channels. Now each section has a rib and a recess that clip together, and you want to hear that click when you join them. I'm also going to stick a piece of foam weather strip along the edging to accommodate for any expansion, an end cap on the upper end and an end cap on the bottom. However, the bottom end cap we still need to cut open to accommodate the piping that will take the water away. Just going to drill a hole and use the jigsaw to cut that open. And once you've cut that open, use the connector and pop it on the end. Now we can start mixing our cement. I'm going with a three part sand to one part cement ratio. We're going to mix that into a firm consistency. I'll throw that in the bottom of the trench, approximately 50 millimeters thick, making sure that it's level throughout. Now I can place the drain into the wet cement and just make sure that it's bedded in nice and firm. Now it's important to remember that you want the drainage level with your driveway and not necessarily with the spirit level. Remember we will be driving over it so we don't want to step. I'm also going to make sure we have a gradual fall along the length of the drain. Now that the drain is in place, I can pour my cement down the sides and use the trowel to work it in, getting rid of any air pockets. Now we don't want the channel bowing when the cement sets, so make sure the grates are in and they stay in. I also want to make sure that the surface of the cement is smooth and level with the driveway and the channel, so I'll give that a gentle float. While Kev's finishing off the cement, I'm going to get going with the plumbing. So because we've installed this in an existing driveway, we need somewhere to run the water off to. In this case, into the flower bed. All I'm doing is I'm using a 110 to 50 mil reducer, some flexible hose and some 50 mil pipe to get rid of that water. These easy drain systems also include corners, T pieces and gullies that can be placed under gutters. Now a tip just to keep your drain in place while the cement is drying and stop the drain from lifting, throw a plank over the top, couple of bricks and you're good to go. All that's left to do now is let that dry for a few days before we drive over it and I have no doubts that that's going to sort out the water problem in this area. Now remember everything I used is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. For more how to's just like this one, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.